Guys, this is a video of our GoTasker dispatcher. Towards your left is the dispatcher and towards your right is the provider application. So first let's log into the provider application. So the whole motive to have this is basically to manage your bookings, your providers and if required create uh, requests as well from the customer. If they call you and give you an update, you could probably just set it up for them and make sure the provider comes, they really don't have to go to the application. So basically if you have your server set up, your dispatcher, your provider application up and going, I'm sure you'll be able to dispatch bookings from here as well. So if you notice this is the, the dispatcher, you have the unassigned, in dispatch and assigned. Unassigned are the bookings which have been requested. However, no provider is assigned to it. So how this would work is that if I click on any particular booking, let's take this particular this book. Okay, let's take the Indian number since we are located here. Yes. And they would show you all the available providers at the moment. So if you go here, you will see there are three available for this particular booking in India since these are providers available in my city, Bangalore. Alright, so let's start with creating a booking. Either you can create a booking for an already existing client. It will pick up the details that that particular client has fed into the application or a completely new client. That is completely alright. Only thing, you may have a limitation in terms of payment gateway where you will have like, you can only give cash as an option. So let me have Edwin Matthew here. He's already an existing customer and you see he has his location data set. If you want, you can choose that or you can just ask him, hey, these are the addresses he's added. So you can just select the one which he would suggest. Pick up a category. Let's have tutor here. All right. And we have a book now option. So let's have a book for now. We have an available provider here. Let's see who this provider here is. So if I go to the provider application here, you can see that I can go online and the provider is John Matthew. So let's check his availability if he's here or not. And one second. So does he come in unavailable? I may have to restart him here because we just got online. Bookings. Oh, that's because he has an upcoming booking. That is why you cannot see it. So let's complete his booking so that we can receive a new booking here. Yeah, and we are done. So, it does he come available here again? Um, you have all of this. Let's not select any particular provider and let's go for a random one. You can choose what sort of payment you want. We could have card payment here see what card they have he's added a card so we can select something here and do we have any provider here John Matthew and we manually dispatch it to him so if you notice he has received the booking here we come to request Edwin's booking has been received here. Let's click OK. And if you go, we see her booking is in dispatch. And if we accept, voila, you go right there and it comes right into assign. So if I check in the details here, you can see it gives you the job details, booking on, for, service category, quantity, etc., etc., and active timeline, which gets updated on real time. Its request has been sent and has been accepted. If he goes on the way, you can see the status is being updated there. Arrived, started booking. Let's give that around five seconds. There you go. And we can, oops, sorry, raise the invoice. We can confirm the services, have the customer sign it, job completed, and there you get go. The booking gets completed. 
you can rate and review the customer if you wish and there you go it has been done now if i go to the tasks here you can see the status of my booking as completed so edwin matthew this was his details invoice raised and that is the exact booking we did right now now if i go back to the dashboard right um i can have in dispatch in the sense if a booking is sent through the application how can that be managed so if i come to the go task customer application let's give that a second loading and booking for providers there you go we have completed a booking earlier let's have to submit it and okay we book now we will put John Matthew right here and we have book John confirm once this is confirmed you see it's in Indispad that means the booking has directly been sent over here so if I click here if I go back to the provider application it will show in my request and let's say I decline it here so if you notice the booking there gets declined now uh, so if you go to the task here you show it is declined why did it not go to assign because I picked one particular provider and I wanted to see his availability what if I pick a provider randomly so let's take a cleaner book now next okay book now we have any available provider let's confirm and book booking is sent okay i received the booking over here and let me decline it and if you open it here you can see that there is a time frame there which which we are waiting for. So you see it's for two minutes and how we have set it up in the, you notice here it's for two minutes. So how we have set it up here is that one minute it is for dispatch, or automated dispatch and the other minute is manual. So once it hits here, it moves into unassigned and we can assign it to any available provider. Now the advantage of uh, this is that you can make sure every opportunity is taken care of. So if I go here, like I showed you, it shows the availability, right? And this can be set up from the back end, we, uh, from the admin panel. I will have another video created for that to show you how that exactly is done, right? So now if you see, Edwin has moved into unassigned. We can again assign it here to John Matthew since we have him on our screen and directly assign it to him. You can see a push notification has been received and it comes into upcoming assignment booking. So all the bookings here can be watched, maintained, and taken care of, and make sure every opportunity is explored and taken advantage of in terms of booking to be completed and successful, which is very important. So that is the whole purpose of our dispatcher. So uh, if you really like this video, or if you would like to know more about how the dispatcher works, with the provider application and everything, you are most welcome to get in touch with us and we would like to talk to you and understand what your idea is and help you out with it. Thank you very much. And if you have any queries, do get back to us on the same. Thank you.